Hello guys, welcome to my channel Next Tutorial and in today's video I'm gonna walk you through step by step on how to factory reset or format your MacBook, MacBook Pro, iMac, any of these devices will, ha will have to be done same exact way and we're using a MacBook, one of the newer versions, the 2017 models. So what you'll need to do first to factory reset is you wanna power the device on then you want to press the command and the R on the keyboard R as in Romeo keep tapping as soon as you see the Apple logo comes up you want to stop and release all the buttons as you see it's loading up so once it's done it will take you to the recovery screen this will take about 15 to 20 seconds Here you go. Once you get to the Mac OS utility screen, you want to go on a disk utility. You want to double click on that, or you can hit that continue. So we're going to select the untitled um, portion of the hard drive, which is the top one. Then you want to click on erase. You double click on erase then it will open up a small screen right here then you wanna click erase again this will take 5-10 seconds to erase everything off the partition on this Mac then what we're gonna do next once it's done you wanna click done then you wanna close this page once you close it which is on the top left corner then you wanna go to reinstall Mac OS you wanna double click on that option it will open up the screen so you wanna hit next actually you have to connect to Wi-Fi we forgot to do that so let me connect to my Wi-Fi really quick then you wanna click on reinstall so we can start the reinstall after you logged into your Wi-Fi it will open up the screen again then you wanna hit next it will verify a couple things because it's connected to your Wi-Fi then it will take you to another screen then you wanna hit next or agree you want to agree the terms then you want to select your partition then hit next continue then it will start downloading the new software to your MacBook or iMac this will take about a couple hours to finish make sure to have your MacBook connected to the power source so it won't shut off while it's resetting and reinstalling the software to your MacBook this is basically concludes our tutorial for today. If you found it helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel for more videos. And thank you guys for watching.